Landells. I'm the principal here at Hill House School. We're a 52 week setting for 28 young people who have autism and learning difficulties and associated conditions. We work in a holistic way with a therapy team, education team and care team to deliver a really integrated approach for our young people 24-7. They're here with us from the age of 11 to 19. So when a young person comes to Hill House, we'll work together over three months carrying out baseline assessments with the education team, the therapists and of course our care staff. And at the end of the three months we can come together with family and with the local authority and all sit around the table and agree the next steps to that young person and the really key things we want to focus on to enable them to progress. So we have an on-site therapy team with psychology, speech and language, occupational therapy and behaviour support who deliver very much a nurture-led approach for our young people. What is wonderful is the way everybody works together, uh, so much so that when Ofsted inspected us last they couldn't actually tell who was care, who was education and who was a therapist and that speaks volumes for the way everybody practices together. We've been absolutely thrilled to be part of the 100 Voices campaign with CareTech uh, using Smartbox, which is an incredible talk pad that is revolutionising the way our young people can communicate um, and their voice, their choice is absolutely the most important thing and to see that happening here with a device that any of us might use, that any of us might sit at a cafe with, is just wonderful. So I'm Louisa Burden, I'm the Vice Principal at Hill House and I'm the Head of Education. Um, a large part of our curriculum is about working with the local community, um, whether that's letting the community in um, and providing lots of different activities for our young people, whether it's yoga, music, dance, drama, theatre, or getting out and about and really accessing our local area. Um, we're part of the local parish council, um, which is a really lovely opportunity for our sixth form young people to feel part of their community and be part of making decisions about what happens around them. So before our young people come to Hill House, very often they've had quite a limited, often negative experience of school. So our job is to open up their world. Um, we want to make education fun and exciting and something that our young people want to come and do and take part in every day. So our whole curriculum is based around looking at individual needs and choices as well as giving our young people a really wide and rich experience of all the curriculum areas. All our young people have individual targets which we work on with our care team and our therapy team and really we want to equip our young people to leave Hill House with communication skills, level of independence, choice um, and being able to live in a world where they're happy and healthy. We're really proud to work with a whole range of external partners. 
It really helps us to let light in and work collaboratively. It helps to develop our own practice, but also teach people about what we do here. We host a range of trainee teachers and help them on their pathway into the world of teaching, as well as working with some local universities on major research projects um, in the field of autism, communication and technologies. So for our children who are living here, potentially for 52 weeks, it's really important that this feels like home and we work very closely with families to get their input with the young person to create a home from home for them. We work in partnership with parents and we never forget that we are visitors in that young person's home. What's really exciting and is a real privilege is to be part of the next steps for a young person and we will work really closely with the young person, absolutely at the front of it, but with their families, with local authority and finding the best placement for their adult life. Um, and for us that is so important because all the work that we've been doing over the years that the young person's been here really leading up to this next step and we have young people who will move into supported living who will typically hopefully be near their family group and continue to have that support we have young people who have moved to share accommodation with another young person absolutely lovely when that happens and then sometimes we'll have young people who move into a a group living for, for adults and again that that is what they have chosen and what's right for them. <laughs>